together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Let's count to ten together. Ready? Here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again. Count with me. One, two, three. Ten to one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we're done. Blast off! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friend. It's so good to see you again. Fox has the number wheel set up. Let's see what today's number will be. I'm ready, Mr. Goose. <laughs> Here we go. Today's special number is seven. Okay, Hedgehog, show me the card with the number seven on it. I bet I can find it. Oh, there it is. Now let's flip the card over and count how many ducks there are. Mr. Goose, can you help me? Of course. Let's count out loud together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many in all? Seven. Hedgehog, you win! Yay, what do I win? Seven silly duck sounds! <laughs> quack, quack! <laughs> Let's pretend to be ducks. <laughs> Today's number is seven. Let's explore the island and count together. Let's count together. Seven. There are seven apples. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Now count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many apples in all? Seven. Yeah. Come on, wiggle bugs, snack time. Let's do the monkey dance! Yay! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Seven times! Clap seven!
seven times. Not seven times. Point seven times. March seven times. I knew I could count on you. You do the monkey dance, the monkey dance. Come on, everybody, do the monkey dance. You do the monkey dance, the monkey dance. Come on and dance with me. Yeah. Let's count wiggle bugs together. Seven. <laughs> there are seven wiggle bugs. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. How many wiggle bugs in all? Seven. That's right. Let's take their pictures. Say cheese. <laughs> Thank you for helping me take that picture. It's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called, Why is Nita Upside Down? In this story, a little girl named Nita feels like she doesn't fit in. I wonder why. Well, let's read and find out. Let's begin. Why is Nita Upside Down? Written by Emma Hearn, Roxana Bauer, and Sarah Bauer. Illustrated by Sarah Bauer. Nita's hanging upside down, her long hair tickling at the ground. The trees, the grass, the everything is all the wrong way round. Her feet, they poke into the sky. Little Navi is walking by. He says, I've seen you here before. You're upside down again. What for? Her feet swim lightly in the air. She tries to hide behind her hair. It's hard to t -t talk, she says to him. I'm not the same. I don't fit in. Navi takes her by the hand. He wants to help her understand. They climb to Navi's lookout spot. From up here, they can see a lot. They perch and have a quiet stare at children playing here and there. Those kids are not the same at all. Abe's round... Cheese freckled? Layla's extra tall. Bam Bam's wild and must run free, while Lulu reads quietly. Look at Freya's crazy hair, and Tim wears glasses everywhere. And me? I am just skin and bone. And you are you. You're not alone. Each human's sort of strange, you see. That makes you just the same, like me. This world is really one big game. To play, we can't all be the same. Nita feels the right way round, thanks to the new friend she's found. Upside down was never fun. Now, she plays with everyone. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called I'm a Little Teapot. And look what I have in my backpack. 
A banjo. I'll sing the song first, then you sing along with me. OK, let's begin. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Now this time, we'll all sing together, OK? OK! Yeah! Yes! I'm ready! Here we go! I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Well done! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Thank you for singing with me! Goodbye! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again! Pizza! Pizza! Pig! Pig! That's me! Pants! Pants! Panda! Panda! Pencil! Pencil! Plane! Plane! What letter do all these words start with? P! That's right! The letter P! It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again, we need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird If that mockingbird won't sing Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring If that diamond ring turns brass Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass 
If that looking glass gets broke, Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat. If that billy goat won't pull, Mama's gonna buy you a cart and bull. If that cart and bull turn over, Mama's gonna buy you a dog named Rover. If that dog named Rover won't bark, Mama's gonna buy you a horse and cart. If that horse and cart fall down, you'll still be the sweetest little baby in town.